Hello, Ron here. I'm testing out the circuit that I uh, replicated from the web. Uh, this person uh, calls this circuit an Imhotep relay charger circuit. Uh, he's from another country. He goes by the name, the handle Imhotep or Inhotep. Not sure how that goes. But this is basically a uh, radiant charger that is a uh, electromagnet that will turn itself off and on to pull in outside energy into uh, the collapsing magnetic field and charge batteries or at least treat them so I'm going to test out the circuit and see how it does uh, it's very intriguing uh, basically he took a uh, normally open relay that is the contacts between uh, 30 and 87 there right now uh, is normally open not touching and the electromagnet charges up and uh, hits the other contact uh, in this case uh, I've altered or he has altered the relay so that when the circuit is closed it will energize from the source battery it will be a closed circuit uh, when it's closed the electromagnet will get charged and pull the contact down disrupting the circuit turning off uh, this magnetic field so you have a constantly collapsing magnetic field which creates a lot of energy uh, it's what keeps uh, kept burning out uh, DC generators in the 30s and they couldn't figure out why it's all the extra energy that pours in from the environment around you so he has made a circuit to capitalize on that uh, magnetic collapse that magnetic field collapse which sucks in electricity so uh, I built a little sputter it uh, looks like a mess I had to uh, I had to cut the top off I have some nice tools so I can be very precise in cutting these things open and you can see the magnetic coil it uh, I should say electric coil it turns into electromagnet it's a contact in the front and uh, I had to if I can show that to you uh, there's a contact that's not used that it's always pressing against it's just a stop I soldered a wire onto that and I'm using that wire as uh, part of the circuit there so when it's normally closed the circuit is complete and uh, forces it to open it'll it'll buzz like a little buzzer so I'm about to turn it on and uh, test it see how it works if it works uh, that is I'm just going to put on the source battery I'm not going to put on the charge battery yet any of the circuits I'm just going to see if I can turn the relay on and to get this neon light to uh, glow it takes at least a hundred uh, volts AC to get this neon bulb to glow so obviously a 12 volt battery is not going to turn that light on it's only going to work if it's actually getting radiant energy so I'll be using one of my batteries uh, if you can read that upside down it's a UB1218 12 volt 18 amp battery it's kind of like hooking a uh, car battery up to a mosquito it's a little <laughs> a little unnerving because if I make any mistakes it'll just go boom it'll just fry and melt and it'll be ugly very ugly so I'll be right back I'm gonna put this down so I can hook it up and let's see if it works all right so here's my battery down here <clears throat> hook it up this lead here well, actually, yeah, that's the ground. And the power wire goes over to this side here. Now, when I hook this up, this little baby should start buzzing. Woo, and it is buzzing. It's very, very quiet. Yes, the neon light is glowing. 
Let me turn that light off. Yeah, can you see that? It's going away. It's at least 100 volts going through there through the collapse of this uh, tiny circuit. Unbelievable. That puts it in a, on a par with my uh, Bedini pulse motor. I'm back. Uh, the Bedini pulse motor here also has a neon light on it. And uh, it takes a, uh, a large transistor and a couple of, uh, couple of uh, heavy duty components, some resistors. And it takes a moving wheel with magnets. And it takes a coil. It's a bit of a mess right now because I've been fooling with it again. It takes a, a big coil of wire to get the same result as that tiny circuit right there. Okay, that gob of wire costs fifty dollars, at least. This magnetic wire is uh, uh, very expensive, very very expensive. And that little baby there cost uh, between. Uh, well, Radio Shack has one for six fifty. I paid like eleven dollars for this one. So that's impressive. Uh, so now I'm going to see if this little booger can. Uh, charge up a big battery big wheelchair battery like those down yeah and uh, I'm going to hook it up with a, a little solar panel this takes so little energy to move that uh, I should be able to run this with a solar battery uh, or solar uh, panel small solar cell and uh, I want to see if I can put any current into a 12 volt battery I'll get back to you with that this is round for now.